everybody. This is Crystal from Circle Back Vintage. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, today I wanted to focus on a little bit more of an educational part of the videos. It's something that I mentioned in my first video that I really enjoy this process. So I did a little bit of research on some pieces that I have in uh, my collection, also pieces that are for sale on circlebackvintage.com. Today, we're going to dive into the world of mid-century modern. We're going to focus on Dansk, and that is a company that's really iconic. There's a lot of people that collect this style, especially their teakwood designs. There's an artist called Jans Kiersgaard who really made this a super popular collector's item. His work uh, for 30 years or so in Dansk designs is really what made it highly collectible. He has these beautiful Danish designs. Before I uh, dive into dance designs, I wanted to go back a little bit and kind of describe what mid-century modern is. I had a friend who was saying they didn't really know what MCM stood for. Most collectors and most people that are, are fans of vintage know the term MCM, but it means mid-century modern. So mid 20th century is uh, really the focus for MCM. Focused on sleek designs, clean lines and a focus on functionality. So that's really the characteristics of mid-century modernism. So Dansk gets its origins around 1954. It is a husband and wife, Ted and Martha Nuremberg, and they were touring a museum in Copenhagen, and they saw some of Jans Kiersgaard's works on display, and they felt that they could be mass-produced for the American market. Neiman Marcus was the company that first started to advertise, and it was a flatware cutlery set with teak wood and uh, silver that really were the pieces that started the collection of Dansk amongst the American industry. Contrary to popular belief, Dansk is not Danish. It is actually an American company that originated in Great Neck, Long Island. Uh, again, the Nirenbergs were the people that brought it to America and brought Jans Kiersgaard to America. So that's kind of where Dansk gets its origins. It really has, its, it's an American company, but it does have those Danish influences because of Kiersgaard's designs. When they first started manufacturing, they had the pieces originally manufactured in Denmark, and then they moved to France, and then I think they moved other places since then, but I know that the pieces that are highly collectible are uh, marked, you know, made in Denmark or marked that they are made in France. I know Kiersgaard definitely was along for the ride during those periods of time. A lot of his works are signed, or his works are signed IHQ at the bottom. I have a few pieces that do have his marks on them. I'll be showing those to you in just a few minutes. So those pieces were manufactured in Denmark and then they moved to France in the mid 60s. I mentioned earlier that Kiersgaard's works were primarily a teak wood design. So I have a couple of pieces that are teak wood, but there's some that are cast iron, some that are uh, silver, silver plated, but I'll be showing those to you. I do have one of the things that I like most about Dansk is that they're practical, they're functional, but they also have a little bit of whimsy to them. Uh, so one of the things that I think is super cool is I have this some of these like long taper uh, dance designed candles and I'll show those to you in just a few minutes with them kind of styled up with the candle holders but they're really I mean, it's kind of they look kind of outrageous to be quite honest uh, with how how long these candles are and how squat the candle holders are but it just looks super cool uh, when all said and done so I think that's it. I think I'll just go ahead and start showing you some of the pieces. So this is the exciting part, right? This is actually the first piece that started to inspire me to start looking for dance pieces when I'm out and about. Um, but it is this beautiful tableware uh, salad bowl. I wish that I had the original pieces uh, serving utensils that go along with it. But um, this is what I have. This is what I found. This is what was available at the estate sale that I found it at. Um, you can see there's this marking on the bottom, the Dance Design Denmark, with um, Jans Kiersgaard's initials, IHQ. Uh, and then I'm not sure exactly what this is, but it, I know that it is original. I was doing a little bit of research before this video, and uh, it has uh, the four duck logos uh, are really the pieces that you want to collect because those are like the original logo. Um, haven't seen those out in the wild, but I'll keep an eye out for it now that I know what to look for. But anyways, it's a beautiful piece. When I first found it, it was a very dry, very thirsty bowl, and I had to um, use some of the uh, oozewood block oil on it in order to get it to be 
as gorgeous as it is now. Anyways, I thought that was super cool. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you these, but afterwards I will do like a little style video so you'll be able to see them better. But these are teardrops. I've also heard people call them uh, onions. I'm not sure what the original intention is, but what's really cool is you can see that there is this little like bevel on the side so that they can kind of sit upright or they can be at an angle and with a long taper candle holder or candles. It looks really awesome because you can either keep them upright or keep them angled. This is, so the first piece was made in Denmark, but then this is in the mid sixties, as I mentioned earlier, going over to France. So I don't know. I just think it's super cool to see the history, to see how these pieces have changed over time and how the designs have changed. So really nice collection. There are two of them, and so I'll show you how those work. So this is a spider candle holder. Again, another piece uh, during Kiersgaard's time with Dansk as a designer. I mean, the ones are very classy, very sleek, very sophisticated, true mid-century modern style. This one, I think when you have all of the candles in it, I've actually put all 12 candles in this before. It's it's a bit much. I'm not sure what the intention is for it. If uh, it's, maybe it's supposed to be inside of a floral arrangement or something. It's super cool whenever you have just a handful of them and uh, they're oh, that really long candle style. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then the next piece that I have to show you, these are not dance, these are these beautiful candle holders, but I just wanted to show them to you because I think they do have that same type of style uh, that's very classic with the mid-century modern. These also are made in Denmark by a company called, I'm not going to say this right, Alums Beligas. I'm gonna guess it sounds like it's Latin, it might be Danish, I have no idea. Either way, um, they're these beautiful classic mid-century modern uh, style really timeless I think. I think they're absolutely exceptional pieces. I feel like these and the salad bowl would be absolutely gorgeous together. All the pieces that I've shown you today are either currently available or they are going to be available coming soon on Circle Pack. Vintage.com. Thank you for joining me on this educational tour of uh, Dansk and the Danish design. I'm sure at some point I will be diving much further into this, but I want to just do a short little clip right now to show you how things are going. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye. <laughs> this is Muggsy. I'm Crystal. And <laughs> this is Chrysanthemum. Oh, yes. I know you love me so much. Thank you, everybody, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.